Hi, it's Chester Tupper from Blue Pecan Computer Training. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at a VE lookup problem uh, that you may have come across. Um, essentially, it's where your V lookup is based on two columns worth of data. So if you look at these product descriptions here, I've got a product ID and a supplier. Now, the product ID on its own is not good as a lookup. You can see these are all the same. It's only when I add the supplier code do I get a unique reference for each product. Now, the similar uh, situation over here, I've created some drop down lists that reference those product IDs and supplier codes. And with a combination of both, I want to better return both product name, classification, and unit price in uh, this little table here. Now, one way around that would be to obviously uh, concatenate or join together the two fields. Um, well, we're going to imagine in this scenario that we don't want to do that. Uh, we have to leave this table as it is. Um, how do we get around this problem? Well, um, the solution is to actually use something called the choose function. Now, the choose function on its own, let's just look at what it does. Basically, what I've got, the first argument is index number. So, for example, if I put 1 in, comma, you then see I can specify values. So if I said 10, comma, 25, comma, 67, because I've chosen 1, it returns the first value. If I put in 2 as my index number, it returns the second value, which is 25. So obviously this doesn't solve our problem at the moment, but just beginning to unpack how this choose function works. Now, as well as specifying uh, individual values, you can also specify ranges. So if I left that at 2, I then went on and said, for example, um, that my first value was in fact this column here, comma, my second value was this column here. Now what it's doing on its own um, is it's only returning the first value in the second column that I've specified. So the second column I specified is 165. If I named that, if I put that as 1, that would return 63. Just to prove this does work, if I was to add up that range, so I'm adding up column 1, it should add up because I'm actually returning the whole column, so 398. So uh, index number 1 it should have added up E2 to E10, and you can see actually 398. I've done a little sum function there just to show you it comes to 398, and also this comes to 398. Now, I could actually specify both columns. If I used a little uh, brace bracket here and I said 1, 2, uh, close brace bracket, comma, to allow for the values, um, and then that, you can see that what it's done is come to 7,230, and that's the combination of these this sum of this, this sum of this added together. So you can actually um, specify two of the values and I've added those up and therefore I get I get this um, sum of both both columns. So how does this relate to actually how uh, we want to use it with a VLOOKUP function? Obviously none of those calculations are actually relevant. Well what I can do is use that choose function to create a table for me, my lookup table. So I'm looking up concatenation of A2 ampersand B2. That just joins both of those values together. Um, comma, table array is where I've got the problem because, as we know, in this column, really I want my first column to be a combination of both of these values. Now, what I'm going to have to do is create the table using the choose function. So I'm going to say choose. And um, I want to potentially return how many columns in this table. Well, 
this is going to be one column because I'm going to join those together. So that's one, two, three, four, I'm not returning stock. So there's actually four columns that I'm returning. So that's one column because we've joined them together. Two, three, four. So here we go. Um, potentially I want to return four columns. So I'm going to use my brace brackets again. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then the first value is a concatenation of, now we're going to be using an array formula for this, so I can actually select the whole columns. Array formulas allow you to, where you'd normally only um, do calculations, whatever, on single cells, an array formula allows you to do it on a whole range. So I can select that whole column, and I can join it to this whole column. So that is actually um, my first index number. That will relate to my first index number. Then I will want to return product name, so that will be my second value. Then classification will be my third value. Unit price will be my fourth value. Now close the bracket there. That's the choose function dealt with. And then I need to choose my call index number for the VLOOKUP. So if I want to return the product name, product name has become the second column because these have been joined together. So call index number of 2, comma, 0 for a f exact match. Okay, so close the bracket. Now if I just press enter, uh, I don't get anything. But let's make sure these are right. So BRW4100659. So if I choose the first one there with catalog supplier WRC. So <coughs> again, 12 piece drill set. Now, um, be lucky with that one. If I chose something down here, BRW4717478, which I think is the last one in there. And then catalog BNV. So that's not returning anything. Now the reason for that is, is that because I'm referring to these ranges, this needs to be an array formula. Now to create an array formula, rather than pressing enter, what you do is you do control shift and enter. Control shift and enter rather than enter and you can see what it's done it's put these brace brackets at the beginning and the end of the formula which then makes this work it worked first time round without the brace brackets because the values I chose happen to be the top values here okay so it returned them but if I want to return anything from those columns I have to create an array form and that's what array formulas do they do calculations on whole ranges rather than single values now, okay, so that works perfectly for um, this combination here. What if I want to copy this over here? Well, actually, if I do copy over, <laughs> um, no, that doesn't work because I'll need to fix these, make these A2 and B2 absolute. So when I copy across, it still refers to them. If I copy that across, that then does actually work. Now, the reason that's working is because these ranges here are changing so what was c2 d2 and d2 as becomes d2 e2 and f2 so the second uh the co second call index number is actually changing now uh, another way to do that would be to um if i fixed these which would be easy enough to do, I'll just F4 these, so they don't actually change when I copy across. This might make a bit more sense to do this. Sorry, I'll get there any second. I seem to have um, incorrectly uh, deleted something there, so I'll just copy this. And paste it in here, and that would be D2, that would have been. 
So now if I copy that across, you see that it just repeats the items, the field. But what I would need to do is just change the col index number just as I would with a normal VLOOKUP. Change the col index number to 3 there. And if I changed it to 4 there, it would pick up the correct unit price. So that's a um, bit of a solution for you. Um, an easier way would be obviously to just do a concatenation within this table. But if for some reason that is not possible, this is one way around your situation using the choose function to actually recreate um, the VLOOKUP uh, column there by concatenating those two values, then joining it with the other columns in the table, and then with your column index number specifying which column uh, you want to return. Okay, hopefully that's helpful.